हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मिस्टर साइंटिस्ट सो टूडे वी हैव गॉट एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इनर एच टी एम एल इनर टेक्सट एंड टेक्सट कॉन्टेंट फर्स्ट व्यू दे माइट सीम सिमिलर बट देर आर सम सिग्निफिकेंट डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन दिस थ्री प्रॉपर्टीज सो लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन इन दिस वीडियो सो एच टी एम एल इनर एच टी एम एल इनर टेक्सट एंड टेक्सट कॉन्टेंट आर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द डॉम दैट इज डॉक्यूमेंट ऑब्जेक्ट मॉडल इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट and they allow you to read and update the content of html elements but they have different behaviors in terms of the content they include and how they handle the html markup so by the end of this video you will know the differences between these properties and when you should use each one okay now let's start first i will explain how these three properties work and then we will see some example and use cases to learn the differences in their behavior before starting all these three topics let me make a web page so that i will show you the examples of these three properties so i will make a simple markup page for a navigation bar with four items so let me go to the document navigation bar and here nav tag four items and second item is about third item is contact last element with the text pricing is hidden display set to none so let let us make the display we have we set the display none to the pricing element i will set display none to the pricing element to describe the examples of all these three properties so this is a simple web page okay this is there is home about and contact now let us start with the first property that is inner html so in inner html when we use the inner html property it reads both the html markup and the text content of the element this means when we use it to set the content of elements we can include html tags and the browser will render them correctly so in inner html we will get the text content as well as all the html tags so let's see before the body i will add javascript page that is index.js here is the javascript page index.js so let us go to the javascript page and i will write some javascript code for the inner html here and we will see what this property returns now there const nav element is equal to document dot query selector nav document dot query selector nav so i will access the navigation nav element okay console dot log nav element dot in an html so let us see what this property returns go to the console now go to the web page and go to the console here you can see the in an html property returns the full content including all the html tags inside the nav elements and their text content okay now come to the next property that is inner text property inner text property focuses on the rendered text content when we use inner text to read the content of an element it returns the text as it appears on a screen it ignores all the html tags and it also does not include text that is hidden with css styles when we and when we need to account for styles we should consider using inner text modifying the inner text of an element means the browser may need to adjust the layout to accommodate the changes in text size which can have performance implications let's see example of the inner text properties now simple now simple now we are going to return the nav element dot inner text console dot log nav element dot inner text i will comment out this inner html so that you can see the clearly difference between inner html and inner text now you can see here the inner text property returns the content as rendered on the screen that is here you can see home about contact here in the web page and, and the same content is appeared on the console so this property returns the content as rendered on the screen it ignores all the html tags and it also ignores the hidden element with display set to none you can see here i have set the display none property to the pricing element and it will also ignores the hidden element that is display set to none it simply prints text as it appears on screen 
now coming to the next property that is text content property so the text content property also ignores all html tags and returns only the text while inner text reads text as it is rendered on a screen text content reads text as it is in the markup it also returns all text whether it's rendered on a screen or not also text content only deals with the raw text and does not account for styles so in situations where performance is a concern and you don't need to account for styles text content might be a more efficient choice compared to inner text okay now let's see example of the text content property console dot log nav element dot text content i will comment the inner text property so you can see the output here in the console okay i hope you will able to see the output that is home about contact and pricing text content property returns the content as it is in the html markup like inner text it also ignores the html tags but it doesn't consider styles so it returns the pricing text even though it's hidden so in inner text we have seen the pricing element is ignored because the display is set to none but in text content it returns the pricing text even though it's hidden okay this is the difference between inner text and text content so you can also use all these three properties to update the content of dom elements when updating content the properties behave in a similar way to when we use them to read or get content okay so you can see various examples in the internet and, and i will show you one website so that you can go through all these three properties to understand it better okay so here is the free code camp website and you can see the examples of how to update content with inner html inner text and text content okay this is the example here uh, the markup below includes a header element and an empty ul element this is the header element and empty ul element and, and you can update this by all these three properties so first of all here setting or updating content with inner html so you can see the inner html property recognizes the html tags and formats the content accordingly this is the output of the inner html code and in inner text this is the output of inner text and you can see here this ignores all the html tags and prints them on a screen as part of the text like you can see here li tag is also printed in the web page okay now in the text content text content ignores the formatting line line breaks and white spaces all the text is printed on the same line here you can see when you want the raw text and are not concerned with formatting of the text then text content is suitable choice and now here also one more disadvantage of inner html is it is a security concerns when using inner html because inner html processes and interprets html tags it is advisable to use it only when inserting content from trusted sources and so this is all about these three properties and you can go through this website for understand it better okay in conclusion when working with the dom choosing between inner html inner text and text content depends on your specific use case use inner html when dealing with html content inner text for visible text without html tags and text content for all text so thanks for tuning in today if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow developers and if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover let us know in the comments below until next time happy coding thank you